Hi everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Today we're going to make a special dish. It's called Swiss chard with tomato sauce. We're going to put it over rotini. It's great, very full of healthful vitamins. We'll get started soon. Okay, we got our water boiling here. We're going to cook our Swiss chard in it. Now, I picked this Swiss chard out of my garden. In the description below, you're going to see how much you need about a good head, about a pound and a half of Swiss chard. I didn't chop it up or anything, I cleaned it all, and I'm going to put it in salted water and cook it for about 20 minutes. Get some salt in here. See how beautiful it is? This is Swiss chard, it's very good for you. I didn't chop it up. We're going to show you how I chop it up later after it's cooked. It's a lot easier than trying to chop this up now. Okay, so I got it all in here. And we're going to just make this come back up to a, a rolling boil. Simmer it for about 20 minutes. And then I'll show you what I, how I chop it up and get it ready for the sauce. Okay. As I told you, I'm going to simmer this for about 20 minutes. Now these stems are a little thicker and a little take a little more cooking. In about 10 minutes after you put it in, if you want, you could start taking out some of the leaves and put it. I, what I use is this cookie sheet and I, I drain it all on here and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that later. But I try to leave the stems in another 10 minutes because they're a little tougher. So I'm taking some of the leaves out. Okay, as you can see now, all I have left here is most of my stems, which are tender now already. It doesn't take long to cook this. I'm gonna shut it down. And I put it on this cookie sheet. I found this is a good idea. Instead of just dumping it, you never wanna dump this upside down into a strainer because whatever impurities are into the water, you don't want them back on the vegetable again. So I do this. Okay, now we let this settle down for a few minutes. And as you can see, there's debris at the bottom. And we're just gonna take, we want about a cup and a half of this juice for later on for us, for our tomato sauce. So I'm gonna put right off, skim it right off the top. Leaving all that stuff at the bottom. That's why I tell you not to dump it over into a strainer. We'll save this. And instead of chopping the vegetables at the beginning, what I do now is I just chop it like this, on this sheet. As you can see, it's so much easier than trying to chop it while it's uh, raw. Okay, so we got this section done, and we'll be back, and we'll start our tomato sauce, and we'll get to the rest of it. See you in a few minutes. Okay, we're going to start our, our tomato sauce. It's going to be a quick sauce. It's not going to cook for a long time. All the ingredients will be in the description below, like they always are, and how much you need. And uh, so we're going to start that up. We're gonna, we've got about a quarter cup of olive oil in, in the pot here. Okay, so we'll get started now. I got my onion cut up. Typical cut, a little bit of a sauce. I got a quarter cup of olive oil in there. I usually start the onion about five, five minutes before I put in my garlic. So we'll let that brown up a little bit and we'll get right back to you. Okay, now we did this for about five minutes, the onion. We're going to throw in our garlic right now. And we're going to try and round all that up a little bit. And then we'll proceed further. Okay. We browned that up a little bit. We're going to take our can of crushed tomatoes. And 
And what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean out that can. Instead of using water, we're gonna use about a cup and a half of the juice from the Swiss chard. to thin this out. This is gonna be a very light sauce. It's not real heavy, but it's gonna, this will dis disappear anyway from cooking. Okay, we'll let this come to a boil, and then we'll get back to you with that. Okay, we got it back up to a boil, and to a simmer some basil in here. I should have picked some fresh basil, but I didn't. Now we're just gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes. Get rid of some of the liquid. And then we'll put our vegetable into it and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, we have this going for about 20 minutes now. Reduce the lid. good. And now we got our vegetable. We're gonna put in here. And we're gonna, while we got our macaroni starting to come to a boil, we're gonna heat this up. Because it's cold right now. I'm telling you, you're gonna love this. Okay, it's all done. As you can see, it looks great. Now I'm going to drain our macaroni and we'll put it together and I'll get back to you with that. Okay, we're all done. Here it is. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Put a little Pecorino Romano on it. And it's nutritious and delicious. You'll love this. And if you really want to treat yourself, buy yourself some Ricotta Salada and put it on top of this. It's great. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Here you go. All done.